In the screencast, we're going to use the property of specific weights to help us form a mixture between two species. So let's take a look at our example, where we have species A that has a specific weight of 10 kilonewtons per meter cubed, and species B that has a specific weight of 4.5 kilonewtons per meter cubed. We want to form a mixture that has a specific weight of 7 kilonewtons per meter cubed, and to do that, we're going to determine the volume of our species A that should be mixed with 2 kilograms of species B. So let's recall what specific weight is. Specific weight is a physical property of our species. In this case, it's the density of the material, I'll put the density of the fluid in this case, times gravity. And so in a lot of fluid mechanics problems, there's going to be times where we're multiplying density by gravity, and so sometimes to save ourselves some calculations, we could look up the specific weight of that species. And we write this as gamma. So the dimensions for specific weight are written as a force per volume. And we know that because if we wrote the dimensions for density, which is a mass per volume, and multiply that by the acceleration due to gravity, we know that the mass times the acceleration is a force, and we get the force per volume. So we're going to use this to help us solve this problem. So let's start by writing down what we know. The specific weight of species A is 10 kilonewtons per meter cubed. And we know that that is equal to the mass of A times gravity over the volume of A. We write the same thing for B, and we write the same thing for our mixture. So we're most intrigued with our mixture. And so if we write this out, we know the mass of our mixture is going to be the combined mass of A plus B. And we know the volume of our mixture is going to be the combined volumes of A and B. Now in this problem, we are assuming that these volumes are additive. So let's take a look at the volumes and rewrite our equations here in terms of the volume of A and the volume of B. We can set this equal to the mass of A times acceleration due to gravity over the specific weight. We can also do the same for B. Based on the problem statement, we're asked to determine the volume of species A that should be mixed with 2 kilograms of species B. So we know this value, so we can plug that in. If we take these two variables, the volume of A and the volume of B, and plug these back in to our specific weight of our mixture, we could write it out using what we said for our mass of our mixture, and we'll find that there's only one variable to solve for. So let's combine these terms and take a look. So for the mass of the mixture, we have the mass of A plus the mass of B, which we know to be 2 kilograms, times the acceleration due to gravity. Now we could plug in the volume of A plus that for B. If we use our gravity, in this case, since we're working with SI units of 9.8 meters per second squared, the only variable in this equation to solve for is the mass of A. At this point, we use whatever method we want to solve for the mass of A. When you solve for the mass of A, you should get 3.70 kilograms of A. But that doesn't answer our question. We were asked to determine the volume of species A. One way we could do that is use our specific weight. So the specific weight of A was given to us as 10 kilonewtons per meter cubed. We know that that is equal to the mass of A, so 3.70 kilograms of A, times gravity divided by the volume of A. And now, when we solve for the volume of A, we should get 3.63 times 10 to the negative third meters cubed. And so that is our final answer.